Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Judy and today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about, it's more like an a month update of my LV pump, my journey. And if you have not seen it yet, I have a video when I first started uh, pumping. I think it was like four or three months after I started pumping. I made a video about me reviewing LV and Modella. So today is me telling you my experience after I'm done pumping, after eight months pumping. So let's start with just like a rundown of how I got the pump. After my, I, I believe it's my 28th week when I was pregnant, my doctor gave me a note for me to take to the insurance and the insurance will cover uh, whatever breast pump that you want. They have like specific pumps. This one was in that list, but it wasn't covered like entirely uh, the amount for both pumps. So I had to pay like, I don't know, maybe like 25% and the insurance covered the other like 75%. It's not accurate, but um, I just had to pay like a little, a little bit of money compared to like the whole price because it is, it is a little expensive. I still stand with the things that I liked about this pump, how easy it is to clean, how amazing it is to pump anywhere that you are, as long as it's charged, I could pump anywhere. So this is the thing. If you're somebody that works and you're not able to have a place for you to pump, then this is perfect, right? Because you can just take it somewhere and go to your car maybe and just put your pumps in there and that's it. When I will charge it, it will last me two sessions of me pumping, uh, like about 30 to 45 minutes each. And after that, then I will have to charge it again. I also mentioned that they have a app that you can like track your ounces and everything that you're doing with the pump. It'll tell you how many minutes you were doing it, for how long, how many days. It's like a tracker. And at the beginning, I used it, and it was it was cool. But after, I don't say, like, five months in, I was like, I forgot about the app. Like, I wasn't even tracking anything. And sometimes I would pump, and the amount on the, on the screen, it wouldn't be accurate. So I would think, oh, wait, I pumped two ounces, but in reality, I only did one. So I don't know why it wasn't really accurate. Um, so I just stopped using the app. I... I I didn't use it anymore. I was just pumping and counting it myself. After the fifth month of me using this pump, I started having issues with this part. Look, it's even hard to take off. So you're supposed to take, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but you're supposed to take this part, that circle right here. You're supposed to take it like, you know, now and then like once a week or twice a week to clean it up because there is like milk build up milk in there so it's it's hard to take it off as i'm gonna show you right now like when you read the instructions in the website it says like to push and then carefully push like this and then there it'll come off so after i did that a few times this thing broke so that's when I contacted um, customer service and they helped me out. They sent me a new one. But then a few days after, it broke again. So I get it. Like the customer service is amazing and I really liked it. But it was like a waiting time. Like I had to wait. I'm coming, Mama. Be back again. Oh, it's broken. So after me doing this a few times, this part broke. Contacted customer service. It was amazing. But I still have to wait a few weeks. I think it was probably a month because um, that's when COVID, you know, everything started and stuff. So uh, the deliveries were getting like delayed. So I didn't have the pump for me to do it. And this little part, they don't sell it anywhere. Like you have to contact them to use this, like to get this because you cannot find it anywhere else. So that happened twice and I was kind of over it because I don't have to contact them, send them proof, send in a picture, uh, send a picture of 
the receipt when I bought it. Um, and then the wait time was terrible because I hated that I needed to wait to get this part. And without this, you really can use the pump because this is the part that att attaches the actual pump with the the container. So there's no way you can use it without this. So that part was kind of annoying. And that was just the beginning. So as soon as I hit five months, and I'm not sure if it had to do something with me using it a lot. Like I will pump, let's say from like seven in the morning to 1600. I will pump probably three to four times. At nighttime, I will pump three times. So that was maybe a lot for the pump, not sure. But after five months, the suction was, was not it. Like it was not sucking at all. When I noticed that the suction was not as strong as before, I was like, okay, customer service again. Why is it not working? Like I noticed the difference and they were like, uh, do these steps, do this, do that, do this. And at the end, they said that it, it was this, this part. They sent it to me. I had to wait for a little bit. Um, I changed it and still nothing. Like, I would do the test and it was not working. Like, it was not working. As soon as that started to happen, I also noticed that I don't do, I would be maybe bending over a little bit or picking something up from the floor, I would be leaking. Like my entire shirt was wet and it wasn't like I was dancing or moving, you know, like nothing like that. I was just picking up the baby, like this motion like this. And yeah, I was leaking everywhere, like everywhere. And that didn't happen before. You're supposed to, you know, like the whole point of this is for you to move around, for you to not be stuck sitting down and not doing anything. After six months of me pumping, I literally had to be sitting down and not doing anything because I was scared that I was going to leak everywhere and my milk was going to, you know, go to waste. So I was just sitting down like pumping, like a regular pump. So I was going to spend $500 on this pump. So it it kind of defeats the point of you spending $500 when you can spend way less for this one and you still have to be sitting down in that same spot. That was just kind of frustrating at that point. And that's when I was like, you know what, let's take this one month at a time. Like when I hit six months, I was like, okay, one more month, just one more. When I hit seven, one more to go and then after eight i was like yeah eight i'm done like i was frustrated um because i would be like so sleepy so tired trying to pump and then it'd be wasting my milk so after getting like kind of upset with it i just started i brought back my medela that i used from for my first baby i brought that one back and i was using one like i was using at home i would use the medela and when i was at work I will use this one. So that's what I ended up doing. Do I regret my purchase? No, I don't. I don't regret it because at the end of the day, it did the job. Like it pumped, like it took my milk out, which that was the whole purpose. Is it 100% worth it? In my opinion, no. And I know I recommended it to you guys because it was amazing. When I, when I first started, it was amazing. Like the suction and everything was silent and everything was great. For other people, that might not be the case. Their experience was probably better than mine, but it is what it is. So that's why I'm coming to you guys here again and telling you, hey, this is what happened. This is my experience. Do I recommend it still? If you're a working mom that you cannot get to a station where you can pump and you can be um, that have like electricity and a plug for you to do your regular pump like Medela, then yeah, buy this. There is another brand, Willow, Willow, something like that. There is another brand like more affordable than this uh, that you can also like maybe see another review. Just have a little bit of more patience than I did. So at the end of my journey, I will rate this pump a 
I would say 8 out of 10 because I loved it and I love how it looks. It looks beautiful. Like, look at that. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Yeah, guys, that was my experience with this pump. I hope you guys stay strong. <laughs> Pumping takes a lot of your time. Good for you, mamas. If you did more than me, oh, God bless you because it's a lot of work. <laughs> And yeah, guys, that was it for today. It was good seeing you guys. Happy holidays. Today, I think it's December 27th. So yeah, happy holidays. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. And I hope your families are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. So God bless you guys. And what happened, my amor? Do you want to wash your hands? Okay, come on, let's go. You're saying bye bye? You say bye bye? Bye bye, YouTube. Bye bye, YouTube. Okay, let's go wash your hands. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good day, mommy. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye, mommy. <laughs>